even if you're not a narcissist and you don't walk around like a vlogger and and make videos going look at me like this hold on i just want to do this now i just i just got to do this because i don't do this so i'm going to do this this is what this is a vlogger this is how vloggers be and it's like hey everybody look at me look at me look at me and then look at it's kind of weird hey eh? You filming yourself and you look at yourself at the same time. I, I don't know. I just like to look down the barrel. What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. Today I'm gonna be doing a review of this bad boy right here. It's the DJI Osmo Mobile 5 or OM5 for short. This is a smartphone gimbal stabilizer. Basically, it gives you smooth videos and photos with your smartphone. So if you are a content creator or you just want to create better home videos with your kids, you've come to the right place. So without further ado, get your popcorn ready and cue that intro. So let's go ahead and start with the design of the Osmo Mobile 5 OM5 for short. Of course, this is the fifth iteration of this gimbal stabilizer from DJI and they've made a lot of cool improvements. Number one, look at how portable this is. It won't fit in your pocket, but it's pretty darn close. You know, it's going to have no problem sitting in your purse, your handbag, your backpack, your camera bag, but it is super small and portable. You don't need a case to put it in. You can just drop this in. The only question I have is how long can this handle wear and tear because my other um, gimbal stabilizer, I beat the crap out of that. I don't even use it anymore. It can barely like hand, I don't know what I did to it, but I, I wasn't gentle, let's put it that way. Well, this one, it's got a cool design. It's very easy to open up and to put your smartphone in. It also comes with this little tripod that you can screw onto the bottom. This is really important because not only can you hold this, but you could actually make it stationary and then um, do some filming. Now it comes with this smartphone holder and this I really like because some of the gimbals that you'll see on the market have it built in. This one actually detaches because it connects via magnets and it's a very, very strong magnet, I might add. Here's the thing about these gimbals. Okay, I've been using them for a while and to get the best use, you really got to get this holder on perfectly. So you want it nice and center and it almost has this little slot here. I don't, you can barely see it, but it has this little slot that accommodates for the buttons that you'll see on most smartphones. Speaking of most smartphones, it should fit the majority of smartphones on the market. If it's a little small, they have this little adapter that you can use to make it fit. But for the most part, I think, you know, depending on if you have a Samsung, Google phone, uh, iPhone, you're not gonna have any issues. Once you get the holder on, it will connect via magnets. And it's actually got a slot here to make sure that it goes into the right place. So there's only really one way it can sit on it. Super strong magnet. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna have to worry that your phone's gonna fall off it and, and crack. Um, it's basically super secure. The only way it's gonna come off is if you manually pull it off. Now, what makes this, uh, gimbal stabilizer different from any other ones, especially the ones from Osmo, is this. Check it out. It's got a built-in extension pole, also known as a selfie stick. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. The power button is on the left side, so I'll just touch that. And this thing is going to get into position. So now it's ready to go. So say you're uh, someone like me you're filming videos and you want to film a video of yourself using the front facing camera, you could actually put this on a flat surface, adjust the extension rod to get your height just right. So you don't have to put boxes underneath or anything like that and then get the right angle and then you're good to go. In terms of the controls, you can see on the front, you have several, you have this joystick, which allows you to adjust the directions of left, right and up and down. Hope you can see that. You also have the record button. So this works in conjunction with the DJI Mimo app. And inside that app, the, your smartphone will pair via Bluetooth and all of these functions will then work inside that app. Here's the thing. If you like using the native camera app, you could still use it with this um, stabilizer, this gimbal stabilizer, but you're not gonna get the control functions. So you have to manually press it. You'll still get smooth videos, 
but you're not going to get the controls. There's also a rotate button on the bottom over here, and that does two things. It will switch between the front-facing camera and the rear-facing camera, of course, inside the Mimo app. But it, what, check this out, man. This is probably my favorite feature. You double tap it and check it out. It goes into the different orientation. Now it's in landscape. I want portrait. Bam. Just like that. Watch it. I got to do it again. Hold on. I'm just go old school. Bam. <laughs> just like that. So I really like that button. That's probably my favorite button on here. And again, even in landscape mode, if you see, I can move with the joystick left and right, up and down. Here's the thing, folks. You know me. I'm always honest with y'all. I took this out into the park. I was trying to film some videos, and I was really excited about this joystick. I'm like, oh, yeah, this what a great way, you know? Get nice smooth pans and everything like that. Nah, because it's a digital pan. And what I noticed, it goes way too fast. Inside the Mimo app, you can change it to slow it down, but it's still not, like, it's not smooth. It's not, like... You know, all my filmmaking buddies, if they saw me like trying to make a little pan like this, they're going to be like, oh, you know, it's a little choppy, a little jaggedy. It's not, it's not like an analog smooth. You almost want it so it's like pressure sensitive. So if you press it hard, it'll go faster. And you press it slower, it'll go slower. But I'm just going to be honest with you. It's probably the joystick, as much as I like it, it's probably not something I'm going to use all the time, especially when I'm recording videos, because I can't get the smoothness that I would want. I'd probably just do it with my hand, to be honest with you. You're going to have better luck if you use your hand rather than the joystick. On the back, you also have this little trigger button. This helps to, if say you mess up the orientation with the joystick. Let me see if I can show you right now. Double tap it and it will straighten it out. So it, that is really nice. Here's the rant and I want you to get ready. I'm, I, I'm just going to forewarn you, a rant is about to ensue because one thing that I learned, and I've learned this with a lot of products over the years, and let me just show you when I take off this tripod mount, and I'm going to drop this selfie stick, move this underneath. Check out. Look what I'm doing. If you notice, I'm holding with my left hand. Why? Because I'm a southpaw. I'm lefty. And this thing is not designed for left-handed use. Why, you ask? Because way on the other side, is your zoom slider. This is a slider to have the digital zoom to go in and out. You also have the power button, which will change. If you press it once, you can change from photos to videos. So you got two very, very, very important functions that if you're a lefty, you can't use because your fingers can't access it. You got to use your thumb and then you're going to go way around over here and it's very awkward. Basically, when I was in the park trying to get my, my film on, I couldn't use the digital zoom because I can't get access to it with my left hand. I, I hear what your right hand people are like, oh, just use it with your right hand. Now problem solved. This is freaking awkward, okay? I'm a hard left, okay? Some people are like Emmy Dexterous and stuff. Not when it comes to my hand. I can't be filming like this. It's like if I told you, here, oh, you, you, you're right-handed, write with your left hand. You're gonna be like, no, man, I wanna write with my right hand. So this is, a huge pain for me because there's a lot to like in this smartphone gimbal. I really like the fact that you has a selfie stick. I like the fact that it's really easy to change the orientations. But I can't. how am I supposed to use this if I can't access the digital zoom? Like it's like a couple of features that you just can't get. That said, that said, just doing it with my hand, just moving it around. It was very stable. And I also noticed that the motor does a really good job of keeping the phone nice and level. There is even, um, in the settings, you can get like diagonal lines and stuff. So you can make sure your orientation is good. So everything is nice and straight. Because if there's nothing that drives me crazy, it's like a crooked video. And I do it all the time. I, I, I admit, I make mistakes, but that helps. But the fact is, and I'm really struggling with this, is that you can't, Use it as if you're a left-hander. Now, if you're a right-hander, you're a content creator, you're gonna love this. It's gonna be so easy to use. But again, <laughs> how did, in DJI, you, are you telling me like 10% of the people are left-handed? If you look in the creative fields, that percentage goes up. Left-handed people are known to be very, very creative. Guess what's a creative field? Filmmaking. You're telling me, at DJI, all these people, nobody was like, yo, 
ah, this is really hard to use with my left hand. They, they, or they just don't care about us. I hope it's not the latter because I'm going to get really pissed off about that. But I've seen this with power tools. I've seen this with so many different things. And I grew up. You know, people will make fun of me like, oh, you're so awkward with that. And it's because I'm holding it with the opposite way. And y'all, I'm okay, I apologize for this rant. I just get really angry when I see products that aren't designed for left-handed. Now, what they could have done, what they should have done, what they ought to do with the OM6 is keep this design. It's cool. But put the slider on here as well. And then maybe inside the DJI Mimo app, you can switch. Which ones do you want to activate? You want the slider, you want your zoom slider on the left side or right side, and you can disable it or make extra buttons or customize your buttons. Do something. The fact is, folks, if you're lefty, you're not going to be able to use the digital zoom unless you got like the biggest hands ever, your freaking Shaquille O'Neal here, and you can just like move your thumb back without like compromising the way that you're holding everything. Because right now, the way it is, it is very awkward and it just bugs me. Because I do like this. I This is way better than the freaking gimbal stabilizer that I had been using in the past that I pretty much broke that I never use anymore because it's all crooked. Like I can make some good videos with this. If, if this had it on the other side, I swear to God I would use this almost every day. It would be like the back of my hand. People would be like, wow, man, you make the best shots. Like, look at you just like, you're like in the zone. You can just boom, 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 boom. Just not a problem. But the fact is, the fact that I don't have digital zoom, which is the digital zoom is not great in itself, but just a little bit of a push, just a little push, push a little bit out. That's all I want to do. And you know what? You can't do it if you're left-handed. So that really pisses me off, folks. It really, really pisses me off. DJI, holla at me, okay? You need some help? Holla at your boy. I'll come to China. I'll sit in your R&D room. I'll tell you, you obviously have groupthink problems. Nobody, you got, there's got to be somebody who was left-handed that didn't even mention it. What, you think I'm going to have to use my right hand? No, I want to use it with my left hand. Why? Again, sorry, guys. I Obviously, I need therapy for being left-handed. I'm so pissed off. I'm actually happy I'm left-handed, man. I should have been a boxer. I've been a southpaw. I've been knocking people out. <laughs> but I'm a tech reviewer, and I keep getting products that are made for right-handed people. That said, again, if you are right-handed, you're a content creator, this is something you definitely want to check out. The selfie stick is a great addition. Even if you're not a narcissist and you don't walk around like a vlogger and, and make videos going, look at me like this. Hold on. I just want to do this now. I just, I just got to do this because I don't do this. So I'm going to do this. This is what, this is a vlogger. This is how vloggers be. They're just like, hey, everybody, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. And then look at, it's kind of weird, eh? You're filming yourself and you look at yourself at the same time. I, I don't know. I just like to look down the barrel. You know, one of my earlier producers, he always used to tell me, he goes, Andy, man, you got to smile more when you're on camera. He goes, just pretend when you're looking down the barrel, it's a pretty girl. He goes, then obviously you're going to start smiling. And I do that to this day. But if I had to look at my face, how am I going to smile <laughs> when I'm looking at my own face? But these vloggers, they figured it out. And I'm telling you, if you are a vlogger, you're right-handed, you're a content creator, you want smooth videos, you're going to love this. There's even shot guys that have active tracker or active tracking 4.0. So you can just like make a square of your face. You can put this on a tripod. You can start walking around and it will follow you, which is another feature that I really like. But the fact that I can't use the side on the zoom, folks, I will not be using this for the foreseeable future because I need something that works with a left-handed person. But 90% of y'all are right-handed, so you probably don't even care. But the Ned Flanders of the world, you know who you be. You know what your struggles are all your life. That is it. So I'm just going to have to, I don't know. Maybe I'll just use it for the, you know, nice smooth videos. Maybe I won't even use these buttons. I'll just use the native camera app and just have it as just a nice smooth gimbal stabilizer without the buttons because obviously DJI did not think about us lefties, the creative ones, the special ones. I mean, we the chosen ones, in my opinion. Folks, I apologize for the rant, okay? Obviously, I got it all off. I need some therapy or something like that. But I just want to tell you guys the truth. If you're a lefty, you probably want to stay away from this. If you're right-handed, narcissistic, selfie, vlogger, you're going to freaking love this. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Anyways, I hope you like this review of the DJI OM5, the Osmo Mobile 5 Gimbal Smartphone Stabilizer. If you like this review, smash that like button. If you got a comment, Leave it below. And of course, 
subscribe to this channel if you're new here. I'm a crazy tech handyman, okay? I say whatever comes from my heart, comes out of my mouth, comes onto the internet. Once again, folks, my name is Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.